What's up Team Fever? Thanks for joining me today. We're going to go through a 30 minute core class that will be the perfect addition to any of our ride classes. So tack this on to the end of a cardio session. You got yourself a great full body workout. All I have with me is a mat and my water close. You don't need any equipment for this core burn. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and take your feet nice and wide. We're going to go into a little side tap. Let your hands hang down. Start to breathe. Good. Let's start to work those arms with us. Nice long arms, warming up the shoulders. We're going to get a lot of shoulder work in with this core workout. We'll be down in plank a lot, so you're going to get an extra little upper body workout as well. Start to twist through the core here, just getting those muscles nice and warm, warming up the spine just a little. We're gonna go into some squats next. So your feet are gonna stay shoulder width apart. You're gonna press down through your heels, keeping your core nice and tight, warming up our legs and our glutes. Three, two, and one. Down for squats. Go down and up. So right away, core is nice and tight. Pressing down through the heels. Good. Chest is high. Perfect. You're going to want to engage those glutes when we're down in our planks. I promise it'll help you stay nice and stable. A couple more here, then we'll go right back into those arm swings. Good. Big exhales up for three, two, and one. Right arm. Nice. Big twist. Like you're swinging your arm over the top of the shelf. Good, keep breathing. Nice job right here. Four, three, two, last one. Back to our squats, down and up. Perfect. Keeping that chest tall. You've got it. Few more. We're gonna get into some high knees with a little bit more of a twist. You're gonna connect opposite elbow to opposite knee. Three more right here. Go three, two, big exhale. Last one with a twist. Now twist and twist. So your shoulders should be facing the opposite sides of the room with every twist. Big exhale, twisting through the torso, warming up the spine. You got it. Big exhales, making contact, knee to elbow. Jumping jacks are coming up next, gonna get our heart rate up there. Three, two, last one, jack it out, up. Good, nice long arms. Low impact option here, leave the jump out. Couple more, three, two, and one, back to those twists, up, you got it. Breathe, twist through, almost through our warm up here. Last set of jacks coming up, three, two, and one, jack it out, up. Nice, four, Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, this workout is going to consist of three different circuits. I'm gonna take you through each one. We're gonna work the right side first, and then we'll have a little stretching session to recuperate so that we can go ahead and work the left side. Take a couple deep breaths with me while we just get ourselves ready for this nice core work. Big inhale up. Exhale down, another one, inhale up, exhale down, let's take one more, big inhale, and exhale. Just clear your mind, get yourself ready for this nice 30 minute core workout. Our first circuit is going to start with eight walk out push ups. So you're going to stand at the end of your mat, reach down, walk your hands out, and come down for your push up, okay? Quick note about our push-ups. 
when we go down, fight to keep those elbows tracking back. You do not want to be out like a goalpost. So if you need to drop to your knees to make that happen, please do so. I would always rather you use a modification and keep your form right before moving up to that higher level up on your toes. So we're gonna have eight of those walkout push-ups. Then we're gonna go into a plank hold, okay? And then we'll be alternating between a plank hold and three different exercises. First exercise is going to be plank jacks. So our feet are gonna jack out and in, out and in. Second exercise is going to be a glute lift. So one leg at a time lifts up and up. You're just squeezing that glute to create a little bit of movement there within your leg. Last exercise, we're gonna drop to our elbows and you're gonna give me hip dips. So we'll drop from a high plank down into a low, hips tap down and down, creating just a little bit of twist in our torso, okay? That is our first circuit. I hope you're feeling warm and ready. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Big inhale, get ready for those walkout push-ups. We have eight to do. Here we go. Down for one. Walk those hands out. Elbows track back. Push up. Walk it in. Try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Down for two. Walk it back. Here's three. Nice job, guys. Keep that core nice and tight. Push-ups are one of the best exercises we can do for the core. Breathe. That was four. Here's five. Nice, strong arms. Fight to keep those elbows back and close to your body. Two more, then we hold it down for the last one. Here's seven. I think. Last one, let's hold it down. Push up first, hold that plank position. We're here for eight counts. Here we go, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Plank jacks, go out and in. Breathe for four, three, two, and one, plank hold, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Right leg lifts, squeeze up and up. Nice job. Go four, three, two, hold here for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Drop down to the elbows. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Hip dips. Go right to left. There's seven, six, five, four, three, Nice stretch. Good. Big inhale. Exhale. Nice job. Go ahead and come to a standing position. We have some standing core work to get through now. Okay. Right side. We're going to start with an oblique crunch. So you're making contact knee to elbow. And then from there, we're going to go into some standing crunches on the right side. I'll talk you through it. You've got this. Go ahead, grab some water. All right, let's get ready for our second circuit here. Right side, knee to elbow. Go ahead and put all your weight on your left leg, right toe. Here we go. In, 
for two and down. In and down. Nice job. Nice and slow to start. You're gonna feel that contraction right on that right side. You've got it. Here's four. And down. Nice and slow and controlled. Working that balance. When we work our balance, we work our core. Smile with it. Two more. And up. Last one, then we take a tempo. And up. Right here. Crunch, release. Crunch, release. Good. You've got it. Big breathing. Nice job. For four. Three. We're going to hold it up on one. Two. Hold here. Just pulse. Squeeze and squeeze. It's okay to lose your balance. Good. Squeeze and squeeze. You've got it. Go four. Three. Woo! Two. And one. Drop it down. Same leg. Same leg. We're going to take it up straight for a single leg crunch. Here we go. Go up and lower. Up and lower. Good. Catch your breath here. You've got it. So take this movement out of your hip flexor. Contract your right side abs. You've got it. Up and lower. Up and lower. Breathe. You're going to feel that left leg turn on here. You've got it. For four, three, two, Hold here right now. Pulse and pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Mini break. Mini break. Shake that out. We have one last sequence to do. Go ahead and bring that leg right back up. Catch your balance here. Center yourself. Whew, breathe. We're going to take this leg. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Good. Eight more right here. Go eight, seven, six, five. Fight to keep that knee up. Four, come on. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Oh, a nice stretch here. Take a lunge if you need to. Stretch out that hip flexor on both sides. Whew. Breathe. We're going to return back to the mat. Okay? Same sequence as before, just with some different exercises in between. You're going to take your eight walk out push-ups. Then we're going to go in to some feet tapping in and out. So very similar to our plank jacks. You're going to tap out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Then we're going to take it into a side plank. Do some fun hip pulses there. And then our last exercise it's going to be a little bit of cardio. You're going to jump your feet in and out, in and out. Okay? We've got our three exercises. You know what to do. Eight walkout push-ups to get us started. Whew. Big inhale. Exhale out. Here we go. Down for one. Good. Walk it back. There's one. Down for two. Remember, you can always drop to your knees here. That is always an option. Here's three. Stand up. Breathe. Four. Four more. You've got it. Stay strong. Keeping those legs as straight as we can. Three more. Nice job. Last two. This one, we hold it down. Get your push up first. Good. Modification here to come to your knees for your plank hold. Just keep that booty down. I just caught myself with it up. You've got it. So plank hold here for eight, six, Four, two, and one. Pop it up. Go out, out, in, in. Four, three, two, and one. Plank hold. Drop to those knees if you need it. I know my shoulders are on fire. 
higher here. Breathe. Good. We're going to walk that left leg through to open up for our side plank. Go ahead, return to your toes. Walk it through, open up. Hold here. Modification to come down to that inside knee. Pulse the hips up and up, up and up. For four, three, two, and one. Return center, hold. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Jump in and out. In and out. You got it. In and out. In and out. Four more. Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Plank hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Drop back. Child's pose. Breathe. Nice work. One side is done. Go ahead, return to standing here or kneeling. That's what I meant. Go ahead, grab some water. Let's take a nice stretch for our shoulders here. Great work, everyone. Roll that wrist out if you need to. Open up that shoulder. Breathe. We have that same exact sequence. Open up to the other side. Just working our left side now. So we're going back to our first circuit. Eight walkout push-ups, plank hold. Then we have our plank jacks, followed by another plank hold. We'll do the glute lifts on the left side, plank hold. And then we have our hip dips down on our elbows. All right. Open up. Let's stretch it over to the side. <clears throat> and other side. Little mini stretch. Making sure we are ready to crush it on the left side. You've got it. A couple shoulder rolls. Nice job. All right, guys. Are we ready? You know exactly what to do. Starting with our eight walkout push ups. Working the same muscles here. We've got this. Let's go. Wipe the sweat. Get ready. Here we go. Down for one. Remember your modifications here. If you feel your form start to suffer, you drop to your knees. Keep that breath. Here's three. Down for four. You've got it, guys. Come on. Four more. Last three. Two left. Last one, hold it out on this one. Modification here, last push up, first plank hold, breathe. You got four, three, two, and one. Plank jacks, eight, six, four, three, two, plank hold, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, glute lift. You're up and up. Go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down. Plank hold. Go four, three, two, and one. Drop to the elbows. Hold here. Hip dips. Down and down. Go six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold it. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
drop to those knees. Whew. Working those shoulders, man. Big inhale. Exhale down. Nice. Now we have our standing sequence on the left side. We've got this, guys. Come on. You are right here with me. All your weight on your right leg. Left side, big reach and pull. Go in for two, lower down, two, in, and down. Catch that breath, in, and down. Here's four, in, and down. Four more, four, and up. Go three, and up, come on. Last two, and up, then we take a tempo. Last one like this. Tempo right here, reach and pull, pull, come on. Good, contact elbow knee, you got it. Four, three, two, hold it up. Last one, pulse it in. Go eight, six, woo, seven, three, two, one. Nice job, same leg, same leg. Apparently, I don't know how to count. You know what I'm doing though, right? You got this. With those knee crunches to the front, that right leg, sorry, left leg rather, up and lower, up and lower. Keep that toe out in front of you. Engage the left side right here, up and lower. Breathe. You've got it. For eight, seven, Six, five, focus in here. Go four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Now up and up, little pulses. Come on. Eight, six, four, <laughs> three, two, two, and one. Drop it down. Little stretch, little stretch there. We have those extends with the knee held. I know, we've got this. Come on, hold it up, hold it up. Fight to get that knee higher. Extend and in. You've got it, big stretch. You have four more, that's it, go four. Three, two, and one, nice job. Ooh, little stretch there for the hip flexors. You've got this. Water if you need it at this point. We only have one circuit left. One lovely little plank circuit left. Working that left side still. We'll do our eight walkout push-ups. Then we have, what do we have? We have our tap with our feet. Tap out, out, in, in. Then we'll take that into our side plank on the left side, followed by our jump in and out. We have got this. All right, water real quick. Our last sequence. Breathe, wipe the sweat one last time. Here are your last eight push-ups of your workout. Make them good, drop to your knees if you need to. Form always comes first. Here we go, down for one, walk it out. Remember, drop to your knees to keep that nice form. Then you pop right back to your toes to walk it back. If you're still up on your toes, man, you are strong. We got this. That was three. Breathe. Halfway through, four more. The second you start to feel your form suffering, you make that modification and get through the last couple reps in your set. We have two left. Last one we hold into that plank. Get your push up first. Woo. Hold eight. 
six, four, three, two, and one. Tap out, out, in, in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold here. Woo, you drop to your knees if you need to. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Feed that right leg through. Open up. Hold here. Hips. Pulse them up. Four, eight, six, four, three, two. Last plank hold right here. You've got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here's those in and out. Jump in, whoo, and out. Good. In and out. Six more. In and out. Shoot those legs back. In and out. Four more. Come on. In and out. In and out. Last two. And one. Plank hold. Let's go. Come on. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo. Drop it down. Woo. Toes together. Knees apart. Great work today. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Nice job. We did it. Great work, guys. Let's take a little stretch here. Staying in our child's pose. Return down to the mat. Let's walk your hands over to the right side. Feel that nice stretch through the side of your body. Big inhale. Nice. Hands return center. We'll walk them over to the other side. Good. Big inhale. Exhale. Hands return center. Let's pop up to tabletop. Take one round of cat cow. Look up towards the sky, arching your back. Exhale down, round it out. Good. Tuck the toes. Stand up into downward dog. Nice stretch here. Good. Slowly start to walk your hands in towards your feet. We're here in forward fold. Inhale. Exhale deeper. On your next inhale, raise it up. Good. Exhale down. Good. Let's come to the center of our mats. One last little shoulder stretch. Let's go. So like I said, this would be the perfect addition to add to the end of one of your cardio sessions, whether that be one of our ride classes or a walk outside, jog with someone you love, whatever that might be. Open up other side. Big inhales. Exhale down. Good. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take our feet nice and wide. And together, let's take two big inhales. Big inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Great work today. I hope you're really feeling it in your core, in your shoulders. I know I am. Thank you for sharing this time with us, and we hope to see you in the studio soon. Thanks so much.